So now what we want to do is we want to be able to add hashtags to posts and then when you click a hashtag we want to have a list of topics to appear with posts with those hashtags in them. So let's get started. So here what we're doing is we're checking if the first character starts with an at sign. What we're going to do again is copy and paste this and check if it starts with a hashtag. And if it starts with a hashtag instead of going to profile.php we're going to go to topics.php topic equals and then whatever the topic and the hashtag is. And what we actually need to do is just delete that move this up here and we'll say else if and we'll run that again so now it works as expected if we put in hello world hashtag php we click post now you can see the hashtag php shows up and when we click it it'll take us to topics and then it'll take us to php so what we're going to do is we're going to go to our posts table and we're going to add another column this column is going to be topics and it's going to be a uh, varchar so what we'll do is we'll just say something like 400 is the maximum length for topics that's because topics is going to look like this in this instance it says php so the topic is going to be php if we had a couple of hashtags it would say php comma for example maybe even html javascript something like that and while each post can only have 160 characters we also need to account for these commas so i just picked a big number that means we'll never ever have a problem with storing topics so what we want to do whenever the user creates a post is we want to store the topics in that post so whenever we create the post we want to go back up to create post and we want to insert topics and we want to do the same for create image post but we'll do that afterwards so topics is going to be equal to topics and we're going to create another method called find topics and it's going to be really similar to link add we're going to copy and paste that and we're only concerned about the hashtags and we're not concerned about anything else so we'll delete all that and what we'll do is we'll split the text up based on spaces we don't need a new string and what we'll do is we'll just say if we find a topic which is here we will just say topics dot equals word which is the current word we're on and we'll create the topics variable up here word comma and then down here we'll return the topic string so up here we'll say topics equals get topics post body and that'll go through the post body and get all the topic and we just want to copy and paste that and use it down here we're running get topics we're not running self get topics which means we're running a function within the class that we're currently in so we want to say self we want to refresh and resubmit that and now you can see we have the new post and we have these two topics and they're both links now if i go to the database and i go to content and refresh we have our two posts and then here you can see we have the topics and you can see we're storing the hashtags too so we can get rid of that when we create the list of topics we're going to say word is equal to sub sub str and we're going to skip the first character to remove the hashtag and we'll try this one more time and we will click post everything worked as you would expect go back to sql pro refresh and now we can see our topics don't have hashtags and i'm going to go in here and just delete the old hashtags so what we're going to do now is create the topics page so we're going to create a new page called topics we're going to go to profile and we're just going to include some of the stuff we have on profile. So here we're saying if is set get username but of course on topics we want to get if is set get topics. And we can delete those old variables and now that we know we have a specific topic we want to get that topic from the database. So what we're going to do is create a DB query. And we're going to go to SQL Pro to build this query. And if we go to our query we can say select topics from posts. Click run. We can see all of the topics from the posts table. Then we can say where, and we can use a special function called find in set. And this lets us find specific data inside the column. So what we want to do is pass, for example, PHP. And then we want to pass in the column name, so we'll say topics. If I click run, now we have all the posts where one of the topics is PHP. So if I copy that, and if I paste it here, we have our query. Except we want to change PHP to topic, and we get topic from our get variable. So if the query is successful, we'll echo say valid topic. And we need to change this from topics to get topic. We'll run that and we get an error. So we just have a syntax error here. We'll run that and it says valid topic. If I put in something else like this, we get nothing because it's not a valid topic. So now that we know that it's a valid topic, or at least we know that some posts in the database actually contain this topic, we're ready to output those posts. So what we'll do is we'll copy this query and we'll store it in a variable. And then what we'll do is we'll iterate through it. We'll say for each posts as post and then we'll just print our post so let's just see what happens we get an array of posts so what we'll do is change this to select all and we will put in some pre tags here just to make it easier to look at and now we can see our two arrays we have that post and we have that post and what we're simply going to do is print out a specific post so what we'll do is we'll just echo post and we want to get say for example the post body so we'll get that by saying post body 
and we will just remove them and we'll append a break tag. So now you can see we have all of the posts with the word JavaScript in them. Or if we change that to PHP, now we have all the same posts because they have the word PHP in them. If I change one of these and I add in, for example, HTML, and I change the topic to HTML, you can see we only get one post returned because that is the only post with the topic of HTML in its hashtags. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. In future parts, we're going to be making it much more like Twitter. But this was just to show the concept that we can take hashtags, we can create links out of them if we want, and we can use the database to query all of our posts and look for posts with a specific hashtag. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Reddit. And I'll see you next time.